Okay, hey, thanks everybody for stopping in again. This is Dr. J. I'm here with my friend and patient, Bonnie Lafrac. Bonnie is a, a long accomplished athlete in, in many disciplines, um, professional bodybuilder in the WNBF after having won the Northeast Classic in 2006. She's a personal trainer, health and wellness entrepreneur, kettlebell uh, certified trainer, which is why we're here today. I thought we would uh, talk to Bonnie a little bit about kettlebells. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they've been a, a staple in um, Russian strength training for hundreds of years, literally. Uh, but just sort of taking off in the last de decade or so in America. And um, that's why we're here, Bonnie. What can you tell us about this kettlebell craze? I can tell you about the kettlebell craze. You're right. It has been around for hundreds of years. Um, this very new workout is quite old. And kettlebells are unique in that uh, they allow you to use your entire body um, without really leaving your feet, so to speak. So you don't have to be running, you don't have to have a lot of impact. Um, it is really appropriate for all levels. And it, it is truly a total body workout that really does help build strength through your hips, through your core, through your legs. And uh, it is a lot of fun. I think a lot of people get really um, sort of bored or burnt out with their traditional workout. So this is something new that you can try that is guaranteed in just two or three sessions a week to provide that total total body workout, the cardio, the flexibility, the strength training. Very dynamic strength mm -hmm. in all kinds of positions. Functional strength. And here's a kettlebell right here, eh? We got lots of them. Uh, actually, uh, something like this, um, about 18 pounds, is actually on the smaller side, so you'd be surprised what you can actually lift when you learn to use your legs. Cool. Well, maybe we can start looking at some exercises. Okay. All right, great. So Bonnie, the big thing I seem to find uh, as a major problem with chronic back condition of all kinds is uh, just a lack of core strength. And I understand the kettlebells, I love them by the way, um, are phenomenal for, for, for core strength workouts, is that right? That's correct. Core strength is um, essential to get stronger. You will not have stronger arms or stronger legs if your core is weak. You're going to show us a few exercises first being the... This way. Okay, cool. <laughs> the, most, the most fundamental exercise uh, that really separates kettlebells from other strength training routines is the ability to swing a kettlebell. You can swing a, a dumbbell, but because of the design of the weight, it doesn't, it doesn't quite swing as well for you. So um, a kettlebell really does look like a cannonball with a handle, and it is designed for uh, lots of momentum, ballistic movements, and swinging. So there's a lot of different ways to set a swing up. I'm just going to go right into it. Um, make sure your bell, if you're trying this at home or your backyard, make sure you have a bell that's heavy enough. Um, for a two-handed swing, this 12K bell is probably on the light side for me, um, but don't go any lighter than this. So really having two hands on the bell, shoulder blades pulled back, there are a lot of different ways to initiate the, the swing. I'm going to do it in a very simple way, which is starting with my hips flexed and then hips extend at the top. My shins stay vertical, so in other words, I want to make sure that my knees don't fly out to the side. I want to have all of the movement come from my hips. That means I have to load my hamstrings, use my glutes, exhale at the top. Tighten your quads at the top to let your kneecaps pull up. So really this becomes sort of a total body workout. And as you progress, you can even take this to single hand or hand to hand. So there's a lot of different variations with the swing. And it gets your heart rate up pretty high. 